Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel Mom in Practice. Today I am here back again with a very special recipe of Hyderabad which is Ambara Gosht also called as red sorrel leaves. When it cooked with mutton it really tastes so well. So let's start the recipe. Here I have taken about 5 bunches of red sorrel leaves which is Ambada leaves. Pluck them, wash them and add a cup of water in a vessel and keep aside for boiling. Now let's take 300 grams of mutton. Here I am taking boneless if it is with bones much better. 2 medium sized onion chop and again I am taking here large 4 pieces of green chilies to add more spices. It will be very delicious if you add more spices in this tangy leaves. Let's take a pressure cooker add all the ingredients. Add 2 tablespoons of red chili powder, half teaspoonful of turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste, salt as per your taste, 2 tablespoons of oil. and 200 ml of water which is about one cup of water now let's mix all these ingredients put a lid on pressure cook it for about five to six fizzles till the mutton gets tender on the other side let's boil the leaves I think it's almost done the water has been over evaporated and the leaves are very well very well cooked now let's blend it with a hand blender to make a fine thick paste of it these tender leaves will just get mashed very easily now let's check the pressure cooker it is almost done six whistles I think the mutton is almost done look at it this is almost cooked there is little bit of water let it cook till this water evaporates and when the mutton leaves the oil this is the right time to add the paste of the red sorrel leaves Now let's mix this paste and cook for 2 minutes in the curry. Once it is mixed very well with the spices, now let's add about 2 cups of water in it. So that these tender leaves and the mutton will get cooked very well with all the spices with the mutton and these thick paste of the sorrel leaves. Don't pressure cook it. Just put on the lid and cook and let's check in between so that it will not stick into the bottom. Now cook about more 20 minutes. Yeah, this is done. I think the Ambara Gosht is leaving the oil. Almost done guys. That's it. The delicious Ambara Gosht is ready. Hope you all like this very delicious simple yet special recipe of Hyderabad you have to try this out it is a very delicious authentic recipe 
hope you all like it. If you like it, please give a thumbs up, sir. Share with your family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon for more.